Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking, wild camping, your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel's all about. Right, today I get to share with you my review of the World Country Helm Compact 2 tent. This is a great two person tent. This is it's a fully freestanding dome tent. So if your pitch isn't quite right, you can just move it around. It's dead easy to pitch. It ticks so many boxes. Trail Magazine have given it awards for 2021 and 2022, which is one of the reasons why I purchased this tent. I've had this out in a storm. So check out my World Camping Gone Wrong video where we camped at Innominate Tarn on Haystacks in the Lake District and the weather changed. That wasn't the plan. However, this tent delivered. It's an absolute cracker. It's really, really well made. It's got a retail price of £300. However, if you use the link in the description, you'll get 20% off because it means you can buy this fantastic tent, which is £240. One of the main reasons why I love this tent is so compact. I know it's called compact, but it genuinely is. 32 centimetres by 17 centimetres. It either means you can use a smaller backpacking bag, or if you're like me, it means you can put more food and more beers in that backpack, which let's be honest, everyone wants to do that. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you what you get inside this tent. So here's what you get inside the Wild Country Helm 2 Compact Tent Bag. It's got one of these fast pack bags, which I absolutely love. You can stash your tent in there, fasten it up, compress it up, get it nice and small means you can move from your wild camping spot nice and quickly. Now this tent is an outer and inner together pitch tent. So if it's raining, you can pitch the tent as one, the inner won't get wet. It's got eight and a half millimeter alloy tent poles, color coordinated. It's ridiculously easy to pitch this tent, which I'll show you in a second. But what I love about it, you've got these really nice tent pegs these are better than what a lot of the terra nova tents come with and they're really light as well and strong so loads of tent pegs as well so let's get this wild country helm tent pitched right so i'm going to start pitching this two-person tent like i say outer and inner together what i'm going to do i'm just going to peg out the four corners So next up, I'm just gonna put the blue pole through the sleeve. It's color coordinated, so I've got blue at either end. It's just such a simple tent to pitch. Really nice quality tent poles. Right now, just gonna start feeding through the red pole. Like I say, it's nicely color coordinated. Now the red pole is pre-bent. So it just gives the tent a really nice shape. Right, I'm gonna start erecting this tent. Now, how simple was that? Right, so I'm gonna start pitching this tent properly now using the guy lines. You've got one in each corner and also do up little fastenings on each corner too. So here's the World Country Helm Compact 2 pitched. It's a great tent. It's two doors, two vestibules. It's got a guy line on each end. It's got a fastening on each corner. Two poles, both colour coordinated. It's got two hoods as well for ventilation it's a great tent lovely shape being fully freestanding if you're not happy with the pitch you can just pick it up and move it as simple as that so I'll just show you some of the fixings that it uses so in each corner you've got these little pullers the tent poles are partially covered by a sleeve and they also use some little clips too. And these are the color coordinated points. 
these are the red side and these are the blue sides. Now each end has another guy line adjuster, extra reinforcement so it's not going to tear and if you want you can also wrap these around the tent pole too if it's really windy. Now these are the vents as you can see you've got a bit of see-through mesh there as well just really helps vent the tent minimizes condensation. Now the Helm 2 tent uses a 68D polyester throughout and that is literally throughout fly inner and the ground it's really thick it's really hard wearing it does weigh a little bit more but this tent will last a long long time hydrostatic head rating is 4000 for the fly so it's really waterproof and it's 5000 for the bathtub floor so no water is going to ingress into this tent right so let's have a look inside this backpacking tent it's got a little clip on the door there so you can just keep it really fastened it means the zip won't ride up so it's got a big storm flap here with some velcro on it it's dual way zipper up and down so just fasten the tent off so you've got a nice big 54 centimeter vestibule on either side I really like the door as well. It's got this massive door, again, two-way zipper. So let's have a look inside this two-person tent. So you've got 222 centimetre length, 120 centimetre width, and a 100 centimetre height. You've got two massive pockets at each end. You've also got pockets for the doors. That's the see-through mesh for ventilation. And you've also got a lantern hook at the top too but apart from a little bit of see-through mesh the rest is quite thick solid mesh it really is close to a four season tent this is so inside this tent i've got loads of room i'm five foot eight 172 centimeters if i sit bolt upright i've still got loads of height to the roof of the tent just really nice big and spacious some inner and outer pitch tents can be a little bit saggy on the inside this isn't too bad at all it's just a really well built tent all the fabrics zips everything's really nice really well thought out so what do i think of the wild country helm 2 tent i think it's a cracking tent so close to a four season tent the fly comes really low to the ground it's got tons of solid mesh however it's still got a bit of ventilation with the see-through mesh at the doors and it's also got a little bit of see-through mesh at these little hoods on either side too it's just so big and spacious it's a genuine two-person tent as well or a one-person palace it ticks so many boxes the things that i'm not so keen about are the weight it's 2.35 kilos. I just wish it was closer to two kilograms. However, it's only just over, it's not too bad. And it is really well made. So I'll give them a bit for that. The other thing which I'm being really picky is it's not too bad in the wind. You just gotta really strap it down properly. Although it is really good quality, the Terranova tents you can just tell are that little bit higher quality uh, better quality fabrics now would I buy this tent now it's gone up to a retail price of 300 pounds however I can't really test it at that price point because they've given me 20% to share off with all you guys now I must say I purchased this tent with my own money it's only since then i've got an affiliate with uh, wild country and terra nova so i bought this with my own money would i buy it again i genuinely wouldn't would do it's a cracking tent um lots of people love this tent rate it highly and i totally see why so one thing i will say is at this moment in time terra nova selling the pioneer 2 for 399 pound including a footprint that's excellent value for money i would say like hand on heart 
if you could probably stretch it's 399 pound i probably would get the pioneer 2 but if not 240 pound for a tent this good it's an absolute cracker so what i'm going to do i'm going to put all the links in the description please check out my wild camping gone wrong video if you want to see this tent in action where it performed really well i'll stick that at the end of this video but i hope to see you camping soon cheers